Hello and welcome to Pickle Bits Card for Vanguard weekly update. My name is James and today I'll be going through the cards shown throughout the past 7 days. Starting off we have the Triple R Grade 3 for Link Joker, Schwarz Shield Dragon. His first skill is Act, Vanguard Circle once per turn, cost counter plus 1, choose one of your opponent's rear guards and bind it face down. This on its own is pretty good, but his second ability is Act, Vanguard Circle, cost counter plus 1, and Soul Blast 1 Grade 3, and turn all the cards in your opponent's bind zone face up. Your opponent cannot normal call cards with the same card name as the face up card cards in his or her bind zone until the end of his or her turn. This is very nice, but there's a good chance you'll never hit the grade zeros with this. Even so, this is a unique way to guard restrict, and having retiring and guard restrict on the same card is a powerful mix. It has a strange relationship with Gear Chronicle though, where the two help each other out. Schwarz Shield helps accelerate Gear Chronicle, but Gear Chronicle increases the guard restricting sooner. Gravity Collapse Dragon is a grade 2 with Auto, Vanguard Circle, Rearguard Circle. When its attack hits a Vanguard, look at 5 cards from the top of your deck. Ride or call up to 1 grade 3 Cyber Dragon from among them to the circle that this unit was on as rest and shuffle your deck. If you can activate this on Vanguard Circle, the early force, grade 3, will do wonders. Having it still come out as rest on Rearguard Circle is pretty unfortunate, but Link Joker do currently have Aroma Toba dragon from the trial deck who binds a card when placed on rear guard circle. We may see more cyber dragon grade 3s come through though. Gravity ball dragon is a grade 1 with continuous rear guard circle during your turn. If your opponent has 2 or less rear guards, all your other cyber dragon in the same row as this unit gets us 4000 power. This gives a pretty healthy buff to all your Schwarz shield support. It will also help gravity collapse dragon hit early on with 2 on the field giving him a buff of plus 8000 power. And if you have 3 on the back row they all become 16k boosters which is very nice. There's also Draco Kid, who's another forerunner for Link Joker, but you have one Cyber Dragon one and one Deleter now. We have a VR shown this week, this one being Shadow Paladin's Gust Blaster Dragon. The first ability is Auto Vanguard Circle. When it attacks, cost counter blast one, retire two rear guards, draw a card, and your opponent chooses one of his other rear guards and retires it. And this unit gets plus 10,000 power until the end of the turn. This isn't much on its own, but he also has Auto Vanguard Circle when your rear guard is retired. If a grade 3 card with Blaster in your card name is in your soul, this unit gets plus 1 critical until the end of the turn. So through his own skill, it gives him critical 3, meaning if you don't guard this, you're in a lot of trouble. Providing Shadows gets some self-retires that work on rear guard circle, this could be a one-hit kill. And with putting Force Gifts on your Vanguard Circle 2, your opponent basically has to perfect guard this, or it'll just become unguardable at a certain point. On to the Murakumo fan favourite, we have the Triple R Grade 3 Fantasy Petal Storm Shiryuki. Her first ability is Auto Vanguard Circle Rear Guard Circle Guardian Circle. When placed, costs Soul Blast 2. Choose 3 units in your opponent's front row, and they get minus 5,000 power until the end of the turn. If this unit is on Vanguard Circle or Rear Guard Circle, they get minus 10,000 instead of 5,000. She's retaining her old feeling while being more flexible and more deadly as it affects multiple units now. Her second ability is Auto Vanguard Circle. When its attack does not hit, return a Fantasy Petal Storm Shiryuki from the drop zone to your hand and even being able to recycle herself just makes her even better. The Soul Blast 2 is hefty but providing you have enough soul you can really start to make your opponent's attacks nothing to worry about. This works well against Dimension Police, as it can end up disabling their skills. Stealth Fiend Jikutsu Girl is a Grade 2 Shiryuki support with Auto Rearguard Circle. When its attack does not hit, look at 7 cards from the top of your deck, reveal up to 2 Fantasy Petal Storm Shiryuki from among them, put a card into your hand, put a card into your drop zone, shuffle your deck, and if you could not reveal, solve charge 1. This Shadow Stitch effect of Shiryuki is going to be very strong as it just gives free pluses with these cards. This card can even be used in non-Shiryuki decks just to Soul Charge, which could be disgustingly strong in Dueling Dragons. Shiryuki also gets Stealth Fiend Rainy Madam. She's a grade 1 with Auto Rearguard Circle. When your unit's attack does not hit, cost put this unit into your soul and return a Fantasy Petal Storm Shiryuki from your drop zone to your hand. With that being any attack on your turn, it's going to activate nearly every turn if you want it to which means more soul and more Shiryuki's. Lastly for the week, we have a trio of Pale Moon cards. The first one being Triheads Chimera, a grade 2. The skill is Act, Soul, Cost, Soul plus 2 other cards, call this unit to Rearguard Circle, and if you have a Barbarous Chimera and Humorous Chimera on Rearguard Circle, this unit gets plus 5,000 power until the end of the turn. 
Soul Blasting 2 isn't too big of a cost in Pale Moon, as with all your blind soul charging, you'll likely just be getting rid of junk anyway. Humorous Chimera also helps this cost with Auto, Rearguard Circle 1, Place from Hand, Cost, Discard a Card, Soul Charge 2, and this unit gets plus 5,000 power until the end of the turn. If a card that was Soul Charged is Grade 2 or greater, call a card from your soul to Rearguard Circle. It's likely to pull off and generally useful even outside of the Chimera game. Lastly, we have the Grade 1 Barbarous Chimera. The ability is Act Soul. If you have Triheads Chimera or Humorous Chimera on Vanguard Circle or Rearguard Circle, cost Counter Plus 1, call this to Rearguard Circle. Then, if you have both of those, those units get plus 5000 power until the end of the turn. These three cards may see play with a deck around Barking Dragon Tamer. As the Grade 3 would retire the field, these guys can stay in the soul and come out after the apocalypse has happened. It's a nice little idea for a budget Pale Moon deck. And that is everything for this week. Let me know your feeling on the new cards and the new Gust Blaster Dragon. And hopefully next week we'll be seeing another of the VRs. So be sure to check out next week when I'll be going through the card sharing throughout the next 7 days. So I hope to see you then. Bye!